This week, to cope with the chillier weather of fall, I'm going to be making some stretch velvet sweatpants. Just got all my pieces to make the pants here. I've got two colors of stretch velvet. This darker green for the lower cuffs here and for the waistband. And then this aubergine color for the legs and this is the pocket. And the leg pieces. Just sewing the cuffs up the side and then turning them so they are right sides out so that that seam is enclosed inside. Here I'm sewing the pocket pieces onto the pants. They just go right sides together along the edge on the outside edge of each pants panel. Now I'm sewing the pants panels together. Started with a, about a two inch stitch down from the top and then I'm sewing around the pockets and then down the side of the leg. Then I'm sewing the inside seam of the leg. I'm going to pin one of the cuffs onto the bottom of the leg. You may notice the bottom of the leg is much wider than the cuff. I just pin it, make sure it's even by marking quadrants, and then I'll stretch it as I sew it and it'll end up gathering itself down nicely. one leg done. On to the next. You notice that I'm not sewing the top of the pockets up. That's because they're going to be caught in the waistband anyway, so I didn't want to waste the thread and the time.
doing the same thing with the second cuff. cuffs on these there is a raw seam that just stays raw on the inside of the pant but since this material isn't going to fray and I'm just making these for myself I didn't bother finishing it in any way or taking the time to encase the seams neatly in the cuffs they're very pretty lounge pants I gave them pockets. I'm getting the waistband prepped, same way as I did the cuffs, and pinning it onto the waist of the pants. I lost the footage where I sewed the pant legs together but it's just the way you sew pants together. Turn one leg inside out, shove the other leg or right sides together into it, and sew that crotch seam. Then I'm adding an elastic to the waist so that they stay snug and on. And just threading it through with a safety pin on the end of the elastic so I can grab onto it through the fabric. Stitching the elastic together before realizing that I had sewn it together with a twist in it, which is absolutely not going to work for me, so I had to seam rip that elastic apart and then sew it back together again, straightened out. And then just stitch up the pants, and there they are. I think they turned out really great. I've made this pattern before with a fabric that had a lot more body, and you can actually see the cuffs. These are all drape, so they sort of fall down over the cuff, but I still like them, and they're really comfy and warm. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see what else I've been up to, go ahead and check the video on the screen.